West Wyalong farmer Michelle Dowsett says she wouldn't be alive today if it wasn't for the RFDS. In 2009, pregnant with her daughter, she was involved in a freak farm accident that tore off her scalp. But they were so calm and so professional and the fact of the matter is without them I wouldn't even be alive today, I wouldn't be here. So. I owe the Royal Flying Doctor Service my life. Miss Dowsett's three children are also grateful, the RFDS giving their mother the chance to live. Thank you. Thank you for giving mum help. Michelle and her three children were part of celebrations today, along with flight doctors, nurses and other dignitaries, at a ceremony held at the RFDS base in Dubbo. They farewelled a flight heading off on a great pilgrimage. Well, I'm honoured. Uh, it, it's going to be a, a, a wonderful thing to be doing for the Flying Doctors. And it's such an iconic Australian item. It's something we need. We are expanding in the bush. It's um, an incredible achievement in the organisation. You know, we're an Australian icon and just being a part of that and seeing it at 90 years is, um, is incredible. I'm sure it'll last a lot longer. The Great Pilgrimage will culminate in a reenactment of the first official flight from Cluncurry to Julia Creek in 1928. Lily Cardis, 9 News.